Overview of Cystic Fibrosis CF Cystic Fibrosis CF is a genetic disorder affecting the respiratory and digestive systems characterized by the production of thick and sticky mucus. It is caused by mutations in the CFTR gene resulting in abnormal chloride transport across cell membranes. Pathophysiology The CFTR gene mutation leads to the production of thick mucus impacting the airways and digestive organs. In the respiratory system, this mucus obstructs air passages, leading to chronic infections and inflammation. In the digestive system, it hinders the release of digestive enzymes, causing malabsorption and nutritional deficiencies. Causes CF is inherited in an autosomal, recessive manner, meaning both parents must carry a mutated CFT or gene for a child to develop CF. Carriers often show no symptoms, but when two carriers have a child, there is a 25% chance the child will inherit CF. Signs and symptoms Respiratory symptoms include a chronic cough, wheezing, and recurrent lung infections. Digestive symptoms involve malabsorption, poor growth, and fatty stools. CF symptoms vary, with severity influenced by the specific CFT or mutations. Diagnostics and Laboratory Test 1. Sweat Test The primary diagnostic tool, measuring chloride, levels in sweat. Elevated levels confirm CF. 2. Genetic Testing Identifies specific CFT or gene mutations. 3. Pulmonary Function Tests PFTs Evaluate lung function. 4. Chest X-ray and CT scan Assess lung status and Identify complications. Medications prescribed for CF 1. Bronchodilators, open airways for improved breathing 2. Antibiotics, treat and prevent respiratory infections 3. Mucolytics, reduce mucus thickness, eating in clearance 4. Pancreatic enzyme supplements, assist digestion and nutrient nursing interventions 1. 1. Respiratory assessment, regular monitoring of Respiratory status to detect changes promptly. 2. Medication administration. Administer prescribed medications and educate patients on proper usage. 3. Airway clearance techniques. Teach and assist patients in effective airway clearance methods. 4. Nutritional support. Monitor and support nutritional needs. Promoting a balanced diet. 5. Emotional support and education provide emotional support to patients and families, offering educational resources on managing CF. Medication, nursing interventions. 1. Medication management. Teach patients about the importance of medication adherence, potential side effects, and proper administration techniques. 2. Airway clearance techniques. Educate on the significance of regular airway clearance, exercises, and methods. 3. Nutrition guidance, provide information on Maintaining a well-balanced, high-calorie diet Nursing safety 1. Infection prevention Stress the importance of hand hygiene and infection control measures 2. Regular medical follow-ups emphasize the Need for consistent medical checkups to monitor CF status 3. Safe environment Encourage a safe and Supportive home environment Minimizing potential hazards Health and Nutrition, Education, 1. Balanced Diet Emphasize the importance of a nutrient-rich diet to support overall health. 2. Hydration, Educate on the significance of staying well hydrated for optimal respiratory and digestive function. 3. Well-being Tips, Provide guidance on maintaining overall well-being, including incorporating regular exercise. Collaborative health interventions, interdisciplinary approach. Emphasize the necessity of collaboration among healthcare professionals, including respiratory therapists, dietitians, and genetic counselors. Care coordination, stress the importance of a coordinated healthcare team to provide comprehensive care for CF patients. In conclusion, managing cystic fibrosis involves a multi-dimensional approach encompassing diagnostics, medications, nursing interventions, education, safety measures, 
and collaborative health interventions. This comprehensive care strategy aims to improve the quality of life for individuals with CFN and enhance their overall well-being.